just from this photograph of the lighthouse in Marquette, Michigan. This was the Marquette Lighthouse. Anyway, this used to be the Coast Guard Station. But anyway, I wanted to make a relief sculpture of this. So, anyway, here's how I started that out. Um, start out by making a, mo a model out of green oil-based clay. Here you go, you can get a look-see of that model. I messed up there, I put the light too close and the heat did that. I'm trying to dry it too fast. Anyway, um, got pretty nice detail. So anyway, uh, to get that kind of detail in a rendering, I wanted to make sure I had a good quality material to use. So anyway, I used Permastone to make the casting because it's uh, kind of like porcelain when it's uh, dry completely and you can carve on it uh, for several hours afterwards. Um, anyway, see I got a little break in here in the pour, but this is the very first casting so I get to see um, what I need to know about and so I can change it here and then do another mold now to make the mold I used this material here and these are the brushes I used to apply it first a very light duty brush and then a stiffer brush after you get a couple of coats of the latex on it is kind of a rubbery material but on that very first coat you want to make sure you have a um, lighter duty brush that's going to get deep into those crevices and cracks. After that it builds up and you can use a stiffer brush if you're not going to hurt the actual original. So uh, the next thing is to build a mold. This is the latex mold and what it looks like it's pretty much kind of like a rubber glove. That's all it is. It's just layer after layer of the mold builder. That's all it is. This is 13 thicknesses, 13 layers. They're all thin layers, one at a time. They build eventually and then you end up with this kind of a mask that you made when you poured your plaster cast underneath here on top of this that became your holder for the uh, latex mold. And so it always stays in that position. So, uh, next thing in here inside the mold builder is I'm going to use or inside the mold, so I'm going to use baby powder. That's a mold release, and that makes sure that this is going to come out of the mold a lot easier. It's not going to stick in there or anything. And then I'll use this really light, fluffy brush to brush in here to get into the cracks. So number one, I don't have any buildup of baby powder in any crevices or cracks, and that everything is distributed evenly and I've gotten down into the deep parts. After that, you just blow all, everything away. It's just a light dusting is all you need. So then, over the top of that powder, you spray this material called Bubble Be Gone. And uh, you just give it a really nice coating, kind of an even coating. It'll settle in all the cracks, and then all the bubbles will come out of that. Uh, it kind of raises to the surface. Then I will use a tool like this uh, that's a vibrating sander and I'll hold that underneath the mold and what happens is that causes all those bubbles to rise up to the surface and you end up with a pretty nice clean uh, reproduction like you see here. Except for that crack. See what happened with that crack was I just poured it too thin um, didn't use enough material, and you can see right there how thin it is. So um, that was destined to crack. But I um, learned that it picks up really nice detail, and how much detail, and where my trouble spots are, like right here. Uh, I carved that just a little too thin, a little too far out. So I got to take that down now, cut that back a little bit. It's just little, just too sensitive of an area. So anyway, uh, from the first casting, I learned a bunch. Hope you did too.